Newman University, Wichita, Kansas, your 2023 Peacock Classic champs. We've got head coach uh, Billy Murphy here. Uh, <laughs> if we can get past the noise of uh, the other match that's going on right now, tell us your reaction to what you saw. Uh, I mean, we, we did a lot of the same that we did yesterday, Con, honestly. I mean, there was just the shot making was pretty good. And the thing that I'm most proud about with the ladies is like we talk about all the time about how not letting one bad shot lead to a whole bunch. Um, and we have struggled with that in the past. And the last two days, we were just really good about that. Um, you know, they'd make a bad shot and they'd rally instantly. And um, it, it shows in the score. So it's, uh, it's, it's a good day for Newman Bowling. What, uh, what did you tell the team as you're working your way through, uh, you know, that championship match? You go up 3 nothing on what was really kind of a surprise to me, you know, the Lewis anchor, Eric yeah. Lore yeah. getting a seven count to yep. lose that third game. Not something you expect, oh, no. that's for sure. Uh, but we this year have made a big, very intentional push in our mental game. And honestly, we don't, we don't talk about results. Uh, this, this game for us uh, is about keeping as much mental stress out of our players' uh, minds. And so we really don't talk a lot about results, about what's happened in front of us, whether we're up, you know, three to zero or three to one, whatever that is. Um, our mindset is we really do. We're just going to take it one shot of a th at a time and try to take care of what is in front of us. Um, and so we just don't talk about results very much at all. Um, we talk about that stuff in meetings afterwards, just how we could do things better. Um, but. I really never said one thing to him that, that whole championship match about where we were or any of that. It was more just about lane play, making moves, uh, just getting them in the right place where they could just commit to good shot making. Yeah. You made that switch uh, with the four and five spot mm -hmm. with, uh, with Kensley and Morgan. Yeah. Uh, tell us about you know the thought behind that and why you did it when you did. Well, uh, funny story there, uh, her hose ripped in the third game and in the fourth game she just it was bothering her uh, so we sent her to the bathroom take her hose off um, and we just wanted to free up the mind a little bit and, you know so she wasn't going into the 10th frame you know worrying about all that um, just wanted to get her in a more comfortable space so uh, you never know what's going to happen when you're competing so uh, we'll be telling that story for a long time we, as we go through the day, you know, Mark mentioned it a few times, we saw lane 24 opening up, yeah. starting to open up, and then all of a sudden it looked like the opposite was yeah. true. Did you see it that way kind oh, of yeah. later on? Yeah, 23 was way more playable. There was there was just hang on the right lane, um, and we were trying to get it to that spot, but we just played it a little bit tighter and just trying to roll a little earlier so it would read. Um, but, you know, based on the scores, you know, that the left lane was by far the more scorable. Um, and that's why we picked it to start on, uh, just to make sure that, you know, we got off to a good start. And then, you know, uh, the high seed gets a choice first game, seventh game. So we knew if it got to that point, we would still be on that left lane because it was, it was just way more playable. Yeah. Which I thought di yesterday was different because 24 seemed to be the more scorable. 23 seemed to have a little bit of hang. Uh, did you st still see some of that uh, during warm-up uh, before the match? Yeah, well, we actually came over here thinking that, that the, the left lane was going to be a little tighter, and we threw a couple shots in practice on the right lane, and we were like, hey, this, they're in reverse because um, the right lane did have more hang on it. Um, so, uh, again, that's what went into play when we chose what lane to start on, uh, choosing the left lane. And it looked like during that third game, 23 really opened up. And I think I looked at you and had a shocked look on my face. Yep. Uh, did you have a similar reaction when all of a sudden the ball just started rolling through the spot and going through the pins like a, like a house of bricks? Oh, yeah, I mean, there was hold and hook, you know. And you, I mean, as a bowler, that's all you're looking for. Um, and it made the girls a little looser on that lane, too. So, you know, it was just the, you know, some of these matches sometimes it really is just choosing the right lane. Um, and we're fortunate to choose the right one. He also talked about the mental game. Uh, after game two and during game three, there was, we could see here from our vantage point, uh, a lot of smiles and a lot of moving around and Lewis seemed to be very tight and rigid. Uh, that goes back to the uh, the mental 
uh, training that your team has gone through this year? Yeah, uh, most of the time you can't tell whether my team is up or down because uh, we we just want to have fun. I mean, the college bowling should be fun. Uh, you know, I can't remember uh, what game it was, but the girls were struggling a little bit. It was in the first match uh, when we when we lost the first game, and I or you know we were up 3-0, we lose, and they were kind of a little down, and I was like, hey, what are we doing? And they're kind of looking at me. I'm like, hey, aren't we supposed to be having fun? And they all started laughing and kind of got their mind back, back right. Uh, but it, it's supposed to be fun. And most of the time with our girls, you, you cannot tell whether we're up or down be, because they, uh, we're here to have a good time, enjoy each other. Uh, we're we're going we're, we're gonna to love each other and support each other no matter what happens. So it's, uh, it's fun to watch. Now, in your first year as NCAA, you're also eligible to bowl USBC sectionals. Or is, what, what, what's the plan for the team going forward? Yeah, well, you know, we're going to try to make postseason on both. Uh, we kind of worked our schedule. We have uh, we have eight NCA events, and we're bowling two Tier One uh, USBC sides. So we're going to try to qualify in both. Well, it looks like based on this that you're you're taking uh, the program to great strides, uh, moving forward to get uh, to get a, a good bid, uh, to put yourself in a position to do well in both. Yeah, we're 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 growing. Uh, you know, it's it's a very long season, uh, but the girls are doing a great job, and we're we're positioning ourselves to make a little run um, towards postseason. Well, congratulations again on a great win, and I'm sure you have another question or two for them. I, I guess what do, you know, what do, what do you do from here? How do you celebrate this? Uh, we're gonna, you know, get back in the van, and we're gonna <laughs> make a seven-hour trip down a snowy road. So, uh, but I'm sure they'll be, they're gonna be in a great mood. We're gonna get them some food, and um, I think there's gonna be a lot of laughter for about the first two hours. Um, and they're going to be enjoying each other, and then I will be the only one awake for the last five <laughs> hours. Uh, but yeah, you know, we'll get home, and you know, it's it's going to be they're going to get a day off tomorrow, uh, and then we right back at it next week. So we'll we'll celebrate, we'll enjoy it, and then we'll uh, we'll get back to work. Well, well I was going to say congratulations yeah, to you yeah, and the you. ladies. Uh, a terrific performance, you know, especially in these last two days. Yeah, thank and, you. Uh, and through, you know, somewhat difficult circumstances, yeah, you, yeah. you powered through. So uh, congratulations, uh, Newman University, Wichita, Kansas, your tournament champions.